And now it's time for the PTZ Optics Secret Feature of the Week. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Secret Feature of the Week number five. Today, we're going to talk about something that I've actually been really, really interested in, which is live streaming directly off the cameras. And I know a lot of you have been looking for this feature for quite some time. It is finally ready for prime time. Uh, all we have this camera connected to is the network here. So it's just the network, nothing else, and we're gonna stream directly to YouTube. Now, the camera does have, actually let me go back to that shot real quick. The camera does have an audio line in. So you can actually bring in audio directly with your video streaming from the camera if you have a microphone with the right levels and uh, it does need to be mic level to come in there um, and we will actually it's either line level or mic level I'll put it in the description below I've actually that detail has actually lost me so how are we gonna live stream to YouTube well first of all I'm in the PTZ Optics Espanol channel so I don't want to notify everyone in the regular PTZ Optics channel but you basically get a stream key, or well, a stream URL and a stream key. And we're going to take this information. I can reveal it because I'll reset it after I record this video. We're going to take this information and we're going to put it into our PTZ Optics camera here. So here's the camera, and I have pan tilt zoom control over it. Um, maybe I'll face it towards myself. So this is how we're going to kind of stream to YouTube. So we go into the network settings here, and I've actually already got this information in. But I'm going to go ahead and copy and paste it one more time so you can see. We take the RTMP. This is of any server, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, whatever, slash the stream key. And we go ahead and put that in. And we've got, we turn it on video and audio. There's a first stream and a second stream. So you can stream to two locations. The first stream is 1080p and actually you can set all that up but the first stream is 1080p 30, the second stream is low def. So we hit apply then we go to system and reboot. Whenever you make a change like this you do need to reboot the system. So you can see in front of me the cameras rebooting here and once it's done rebooting, um, you can see here that I don't have any video, any audio, but I do have video. So if we go to YouTube now, you can see it says stream starting and there's a stream health. So that means the stream is starting. It does take YouTube just a little bit of time to start the stream and get it all set up and everything. Okay. Now we are live, and it's going to go ahead and pull that information right there. And I'll go ahead and move the camera so it's facing myself here. And then you'll see there is some latency, obviously, with um, streaming, but you can see there that we are live streaming, and the quality is actually finally really good. Uh, with the Gen 2 cameras, we put in a little horsepower, we did some extra stuff. And now you can stream directly off the PTZ Optics cameras, directly to YouTube, Facebook. We were able to add some additional uh, length to the stream keys so we can support all kinds of different CDNs and content delivery networks. So if you're in a situation where you don't need to um, actually have the camera um, or have like vMix or Wirecast or XSplit or a computer on site, you just want to put this camera with PoE on your network, remotely log into it, put all the information and just stream an event, it can work really well in a lot of different scenarios. So thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. That's our tutorial on how to stream live directly off our PTZ Optics cameras. Take care. Click to watch another exciting PTZ Optics video and don't forget to subscribe. Tune in Fridays at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern to join our live show with new industry experts interviewed every week.